All right, I did a short video the other day showing the swales. We had, to, we had to pull some bamboo out, so we had the machine here. Uh, we took care of another issue, which is water in the basement. So far, so good. We just got our first big downpour. Uh, just hard to buy. We'll go have a look through and see everything's working real good. We do have some erosion, but it's because we don't have the stepping stones in at the uh, drop-off points in these swales. But other than that, everything's working great. Let's go have a look. So we're just standing over there at the driveway. There's that swale that removes the water from the front yard so the basement doesn't flood. There's where the down the standpipe comes down from the roof, the gutter. Into the first catch pond, another small one. This one here, which has been here for a few years. And then the next swale here, which has a pretty good gradient in it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what, probably a little too much. I'll have to do some work in it to stop the, the erosion. With another catch swale below it. And then we go into those backyard ponds. We'll have a look. Okay, again, there's the front yard swale, driveway, down filling up this first ponds. Out around the corner. Where it's held, a lot of saturated in here before it overflows this one. And another one here. This one here is getting some erosion. We'll have to stack stones in here. We only did this uh, three, four days ago, I guess now. Into the lined pond. Another pond below that. That's where it goes into the backyard. This one has a, a T shutoff valve in it, so we can collect those duck waste, those duck nutrients, and uh, and use it on the garden. Let's look at the ones on the driveway side now. Just want to show this one in the front yard again to show that it doesn't hold water. There's a little bit there. That's just from the tire tracks of the machine because we just did this. But this does have a slight grade to it, like I said one to one and a half and that's off the driveway the rest back here okay down the driveway off the first drop here again we'll have to do something to stop the erosion here put in some stepping stones It's stopped again. Let's everything settle. And on down through the next ones. More debris here than I'd like, but we did just do all this work, so there's some some work to do to stop that eroding to make sure nothing has more than a one one percent grade in it, one and a half percent grade in it. I think I'm saying that correctly. The swale's almost saturated already. That's how nice and airy the soil is. These were all full a few minutes ago. Okay, I just came out to take a final video. Okay, just playing on the swings next door and a little sprinkle. Came out to make a final video, show all the swales and saturated all this water. Uh, it's less than an hour later. So all that water, rather than flowing across our property and leaving, is now saturated into the landscape. Every time that happens, that water lens inside the water is filling more and more up, saving that water for summertime, for the drier weather. Uh, now we're waiting for all this clover seed and perennial flowers and whatnot that we planted and seeded in there to come up. We'll do another video of that here a little later on. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. Permaculture. Permanent agriculture. Permanent culture. Working with nature, not against it.